Leos, welcome. I'm here with another video for you guys. All right, so we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to do how your person is viewing you and how you're viewing your person. Then we're going to bring it all together with a, a quick tarot read. And then I'm going to be at you guys' hair, all right? So let's jump right into it. Ooh, these cards went a little messy. Y'all might have some messy stuff going on. Oh, let's see. Y'all go ahead and share this message with your family and your friends. All right, because, ooh, child, like, mm. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on for the Leos, man. What's going on for the Leos? What we got? Yes, I see my nails are messed up. So, yeah, I already know. Yeah, they're popping off. All right, so let's see what we got for my Leos. Um, how do they view my Leos? These are general reads, guys. They aren't going to resonate with every single Leo, okay? So, Leo. How do they view you, Leo? How do they view you? Okay, I got one right here. We got the two of pentacles. Uh, all right, so the eight of cups and the ace of wands. All right, so and y'all know I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Okay, we got the six of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. The Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So, and then we got you guys' energy. All right, so we got the Two of Pentacles here. So they could be viewing you as a, they could be viewing you as an option, okay? They could be viewing you as you're not able to make up your mind. So let's get some clarifiers because I want to see this. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. All right, so yeah, you may have found the truth out about this person that someone could have been married or living with someone um, or someone's family is involved or you found out the truth from someone's family. Yeah, and the way they said it to you was how you viewed it was very like, it was tough, okay? It was tough, yeah, because somebody was was playing with the Knight of Wands and the Sun. Okay. Why is the Ten of Cups here? We got the World and the Page of Swords. They're spying on you. We got Knight of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn. They feel bad. Okay, they feel bad. They feel bad for this, okay? But some of y'all may have been like... they Some... <laughs> They know that your guard is up, okay? They know that your guard is up. They know also that you could be listening to a bunch of people listening to getting advice from other people. So they're kind of keeping their, they're trying to keep their distance. Why is the page of swords here? Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, we got King of Pentacles. And the four of cups and the hierophant. Some this person doesn't. This person does not want to uh, be committed. We got the king of pentacles here. Queen of pentacles could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but they don't want to. They don't want to be committed. Okay, this could be vice versa. Maybe you don't want to commit to this person. They don't want to commit. Some this could be vice versa, but this is how they view you. Okay, so. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? They see that you're very career goal oriented. But they know that your guard is up. Yeah, we got you guys. They know that your guard is up. They know they messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got the nine of pentacles. Like they know that you're very focused on yourself, on your goals. If you, if you, I feel like Leos, y'all are doing very well financially. Um, but when it comes to down to this person, I feel like this person just uh, has an issue committing. Okay, so they're also viewing uh, the situation as the eight of cups. Somebody walked away here. Yeah, somebody walked away because they had other options. They went towards another option. We got the King of Pentacles again, Virgo towards Capricorn. Yeah, see, somebody just does not want to commit here. Like, 
Either you guys went with another option or they did. Yep, King of Wands. Somebody definitely is a player. Yep, the lovers. Mm -hmm. Somebody had a decision between two or more people. We got the Empress and the Queen of Cups and the Devil here. So their other option could be a Libra or a Taurus, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Devil, or the Capricorn here. Yeah, like, oh, this this was a big shakeup. The Tower and the Five of Wands, yeah. This was a big, big deal. Okay, this was a big deal. This was a big deal. Yeah. Why is the lovers here? The strength card. They know that they knew that you had a lot of love for them. And they wanted to tell you the truth. Either they told you the truth or you had to go find out the truth. Somebody's family told you the truth or something. But I'm getting like the moon card here and the 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 four of wands. Somebody could have been hiding something. Like they were definitely hiding this. Okay. The ace of wands. Okay, the ace of wands. Why is the ace of wands here? The three of swords. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There could be a lot of people involved in this situation. Like, it could be a real deal mess. Like, it's a lot. It's too many people involved in the situation. They know that you're hurting. They know that you're hurting. They know that they hurt you. Like, this person could have even made you cry with the Page of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Like, why is the Five of Wands here? the moon there's a lot of jealousy here somebody jealous of somebody after they told somebody the truth okay because the truth definitely came out about somebody's past okay somebody might have said like i don't deal with that person no more i cut that person off i cut that person off but then you find out that this person was lying with the seven of swords you find out that this person was lying okay so that's when the judgment came in and the universe was like hey you need to pay attention to the signs okay why is the moon card here this is cancer and pisces this energy king of cups definitely could be dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio but there was like a mystery person a mystery woman someone's mother or aunt or grandmother or someone could be involved but yeah the, this was some shocking news like this was shocking this somebody hides their emotions. They they hide their emotions. Yeah, see, this person didn't. This person did not want this cup of love. Okay, we got the four of cups and the two of cups, king of pentacles and the hierophant, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's either you didn't accept this offer or they didn't. So let me see how you view them. Leo view their person how does Leo view their person okay four of pentacles the six of cups yeah you're still holding on to this person and the judgment yeah you want another chance with this person like I feel like there's a breaking the rules like you're willing to break the rules for this person like you are still holding on to this person. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Five of Swords. I feel like you're still pissed off. I feel like you're still pissed off, but I feel like you're still uh, holding on to this person. Yeah. Um, and Four of Cups. I feel like you're disappointed. We got the Devil here showing his face again. Capricorn energy, but you feel like this person played mind games with you with the magician and the devil You feel like this person played all these games, but I feel like you possibly still want this person Y'all how tell me how they go together the Sun you guys is energy Three of swords 
You feel like this person broke your heart. They put you in the third, third party situation. <sighs> Why is the three of swords here? Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. It took them so long. They took their time to tell you this. Like, it took a long time for this to come out. And you just feel like, you know, Five of Pentacles and the Six of Swords and the Hermit. Like, you feel like this person just abandoned you. Like, they just left. Like, why is the Six of Cups here? Yep. You feel like this person could have been still dealing with someone from the past. They got other options that they were dealing with from their past. You really do. Like, the strength card and the lovers came out again together. Like, that's the second time it came out just like that previously. I feel like you really cared about this person. You really had a lot of love for this person. But somebody likes the loves to have love attention. Why is the lovers here? Could be dealing with the Gemini. The Ace of Pentacles. Like, you tried to give this person the opportunity of a lifetime. They just weren't ready for it. And when this came crumbling down, it crumbled down. With the Nine of Swords, the Death card, and the Tower, this ended so, like, it was so out of the blue. Like, it was so, like, what? Where did that come from? Then we got the Judgment card. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You was waiting for this person to make a final decision, but it looked like the universe jumped in and made a decision either for you because I feel like you just did not see this coming. You was waiting for this person to take action, but they did. They never did. Yeah, four of swords. They, they didn't take any action. They didn't take any action. You got tired of them not taking action. The universe jumped in with the will of fortune, and now your guard is up. Your guard is up. Yep. Now, you could be coming at them with the king of swords energy. Like, you could be, look, I could be just as cutthroat as you. King of cups and the ace of cups. You gave this person your heart, and you really love this person. You really love this person. You did. That's why you're still holding on to this person. You really care about this person. The Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you gave this person everything that you could. The Emperor. See, the same cards are coming out. Like the Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor. You could have saw this person. You wanted to be with this person long term. You even want to get married to this person. This person could be older than you. And then we got the Emperor and the Empress. You wanted, like, you feel like this person is your soulmate. Wow. Okay, so now let's uh, do a, a quick read and see what's what. Let me pull this story together. Give me a message for my Leos. Y'all got to help me. Y'all holding on to this connection. But y'all got to make sure that I feel like it's toxic. I feel like this is a toxic situation, to be honest. And I know those aren't easy to get out of. But I feel like somebody was playing with somebody. Okay, so give me a read for Leo. We got the three of wands. See, yeah, you're waiting for this person to contact you. Yep, and chariot. The seven, of, yeah, you're waiting for them to make up their mind. You're still waiting on this person. Yeah, the full Ten of Swords. The Strength card and the Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Like your intuition could be telling you that this that this person could come back around and try to put in some effort. And that's what you're waiting on. You're waiting for this person to make up their mind. Why is the three of wands here? Here we go again with that emperor and the empress. This is what you want from this person. It don't get no better than the emperor and the empress. You feel like, look, 
I'm the best thing that you got, okay? I'm tired of this arguing and back going back and forth with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm still holding on to you. But you need to make up your mind. You need to make up your mind, okay? I've been being patient, waiting on this commitment from you. You need to make up your mind. Why is the fool card here? Yep, see? You don't... This is the thing about it is, is that somebody is not accepting this offer, See, there's an offer here, okay? The Knight of Cups is an offer. But somebody is saying, you know, I'm not sure if I want this offer. This Two of Cups. This is an offer that's on the table. Somebody does not want the offer. They don't want, they don't want to accept the offer because they have other things going on. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, you was losing faith in the... You lost faith... In the connection in the past because they left. Because they walked away. They cut you off with the Queen of Swords. They possibly chose someone else over you. Okay. Queen of Wands. You guys' energy. Yeah, and like I said. You're still holding on to this connection because you want this person to choose. Why is the Strength card and the Queen of Pentacles over here? What's going on? Ace of Cups and the Death card. See, yeah, this is a, yeah, but the thing of it is, is you're, um, I feel like the hangman want to come out. You're still going to be waiting for this person to reach out. I don't know if they're going to reach out anytime soon. Why is the page of wands here? Yep. The hangman came right back out in the five of pentacles. And this is going to leave you feeling like uncertain. You're waiting for this person to reach out to you. And this it's causing you to feel left out in the cold or rejected. Why is the chariot card here? The devil. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with the Capricorn. The Eight of Swords, yeah. You're stuck. You you feel you feel like you're stuck. This person has you in this energy, in limbo, making you feel like you have to wait. Okay. Mm -mm. You could be dealing with the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus. I'm getting Taurus energy and Capricorn, but this is making you feel stuck, like you can't move forward. And this is kind of like a possessed a, a obsession. Okay, especially with the Eight of Swords and the, Eight, and the Devil. This is definitely someone who's like, you know, obsessed. I feel like you, this person got you feeling like stuck, stuck. Stuck, stuck. Like, huh? Stuck. This person got you stuck on them. What the hell did they do? Put a love spell on you? Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you need to get a personal reading to figure out, figure this mess out, contact me via email and we'll get you set up, love. We'll, we'll get, we'll, we'll handle all of that, all right? <laughs> Until next time, guys. I will chat with y'all later.